Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach and we're continuing on with the AP Calculus 2016 free response questions. Uh, we're on number two, which is um, still a graphing uh, calculator question. So for t greater than or equal to zero, a particle moves along the x-axis. The velocity of the particle at times t is given by v of t equals one plus two sine t squared over two. The particle is at, is at position x equals two at time equals two. At time t equals four, is the particle speeding up or slowing down? Um, to know about speed, remember speed is the absolute value of v of t, right? Speed doesn't have direction. So the absolute value um, is one plus two sine t squared over two. And you may wanna like plot this to get an, a sense of the idea. At two, or v of two, um, it's one plus two sine uh, t squared of two. And what is that equal to? One plus two Make sure I'm in radian sine of two is two point eight one. Okay, so first of all, um, its velocity is uh, at two point eight one. Okay, so then I want to look at acceleration because whether it's speeding up or slowing down is the change in velocity. So I, I really don't want to look at the acceleration, which is the derivative of v of t, and that's equal to uh, derivative of one is zero. Derivative of this of sine is cosine because the inside is not t. I got to multiply by by chain rule times uh, the derivative of the inside, which is just t. Okay, so a f two is two cosine of two times two, or four cosine two, and that's four cosine of two, and that's equal to minus 1.66. So the velocity is at 2.81 and it's decreasing. So um, because, because V of two is greater than zero and A of two is less than zero, it is slowing down. Now you might ask, do I need to compute the velocity? And yes, because it's not asking you is the velocity going up or down, it's asking if it's speeding up or speeding down. See, if this ended up being negative 2.81, then an acceleration of negative would make it means it's going more negative or going faster in the negative direction. So it's actually important to highlight whether or not um, uh, the velocity is initially negative or not, because just by acceleration and no, that only tells you if the velocity is going more positive or more negative, but not telling you if it's speeding up or slowing down. Okay, B, find B, find all times t in the interval zero to three when the particle changes direction. Justify your answer. Okay, changing direction in a, in a continuous um, function like this is, uh, in order to change direction, I gotta go through zero, the velocity of zero. Um, so I need to know when v of t is equal to zero because that's how I change directions. I have to s go through a stopping point. I gotta go in the positive direction to the negative direction or negative to positive. So I need to know when the velocity is zero. It's so one plus two sine t squared over two. Um, let's see, minus one half equals sine t squared over two. Okay, so for sine to be, I know you can do this on a calculator. I'm just solving this by hand because I can. For the sine value to be negative one half, I could have a negative time, but the inside is positive, so I gotta go in the positive direction. So it's, it's either there or there. It could be the inside is at, let's see, this would be a pi over six away from here. So seven pi over six, so I got t squared over two could equal seven pi over six, or t squared over two could equal 11 pi over six. Because this is a pi over six away from two pi. <laughs> Make sure I got that right. Yes, I got that right. Okay, so let's look at this. If I solve for t with this case, uh, I multiply by two, so it's the square root of seven pi over three. And let's see what that is. 
7 pi divided by 3 square root of that. T is equal to 2.7. How about here? T is equal to the square root 11 pi over 3. The 3 is because I multiplied by the 2. Um, square root 11 pi divided by 3. That's equal to 3.39. Okay. Um, I got to keep going. I could add another 2 pi. T could also equal the square root. If I add a 2 pi to this one, um, oh, to this one, adding 2 pi is adding 12 pi over 6. It's 19 pi over 6. Let's just double check that there's no other times. Okay, and that would be 4.46. But, because, and I'm doing this because sine is periodic, uh, but I exclude this one because um, they want the times between 0 and 3, actually. Oh, I, I thought it was 0 and 4. All the times between 0 and 3. So, actually, these times don't matter because that happens after time 3. So, I'm only interested in this time. Now, let's see if it changes direction here, though. So slightly to the, I mean, and here is where you can kind of do um, uh, your first, your, f um, you can either do second derivative or first derivative test. To the left of this point, um, basically means I would be to the left above like seven pi over six. So it would be like, um, actually, it's just plug. It, let's just plug in some numbers. Let's plug in um, t equals two and t equals 3 and just kind of see like how it falls out between these two points so v of 2 we already computed was 2.81 v of 3 would equal 1 plus sine 9 divided by 2 mm -mm. Two sine. Yeah, there we go. Negative nine point five five. Okay, so the velocity does go from positive to negative, right? Outside of around two point three. So at so it, it changes. So that that's a check for that. So two point seven is my answer. So that's when it can change direction. It goes from the positive direction to the negative direction position. Okay, C. Find the position of the particle at times t equals zero. Okay, so the position of the particle in general is um, the integral of v of t dt, and I want to go. I want to end up at t, and I want to start at two plus x of two, because you want to deal with the initial condition. And the reason, um, actually, let me. Let me fix these variables a little bit. And the reason this is true is that um, by fundamental theorem of calculus, x of t minus x of 2, if I, if I write it like this, oh, I should pick a different letter. I'll use s. Because x is confusing already. So let's. Um, this is fundamental theorem of calculus. So I just simply rearranged it, right? <clears throat> so x of 2 is equal to, or x of 0, is equal to the integral from 2 to 0 of 1 plus 2 sine t squared over 2 dt um, plus x of 2 the particle at is is at time at time oh uh man at time t equals 4 i was mixing up so this this all has to be 4 down here um and then x of 4 is 2 so i need to use a calculator to compute this integral here does that make sense so Let's try a calculator that hopefully this will work. 1 plus 2 sine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? 1. There's some ads popping up on this thing. Great. Plus 
2 sine x squared divided by 2 integrate from 4 to 0 okay and the integral I got um, was this integral here is negative 5.815 and I add 2 to this, so it's negative 3.815. Okay, that's the initial position. And then part D, do it over here. Find the total distance the particle travels from time 0 to 3. Okay, total distance traveled is, I, I, I want to look at adding up all of the positions. Now, because he's traveling in the positive direction between 0 and 2.7, my, the distance between 0 and 2.7, uh, I want to add up v of t dt. And then in the, in the, from 2.7 to 3, he's traveling in the negative direction, so I want to do negative v of t dt. And the reason you do this is there's a difference between displacement and total distance traveled, right? This is the total distance traveled for the first 2.7 seconds. Here he changes direction. He goes in the negative. <clears throat> so I don't want to subtract that distance. So I want to um, add in the negative. And so um, that's all you want to do for that one. And since I have the integral calculator already plugged in, I just need to change the bounds. Let's go from 0 to 2.7. See what I get in this calculator. I hope this calculator is working. Um, this is 5.137 plus, and then I want to integrate from uh, 2.7 to 3, and I should get a, a negative number when I integrate from 2.7 to 3, but then I'll just um, negate that. Point seven to three. I got mm, point one six four. Five point three oh one. Uh, they don't have units here, so I don't need to put units. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, that one was a little bit tricky. I hope the calculator worked. Otherwise, then I, you know, I feel like I have problems with sine, the trig functions, with, with this integral solver that I do. So those numbers might be wrong. Um, question two. Is slowing down. Since so the velocity and acceleration have different signs. Okay, that's fine. Um, 2.707. Okay, that's what we got. This is the same, negative 3.815. Yeah, okay, cool. And then distance, 5.301. All right, cool. Got it. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys um, learned something from that one. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe, and I will see you in the next free response question. Thanks. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I just want to let you know that I offer free homework help on Twitch or Discord. So uh, just stop on by if you have any homework questions or you just want to learn about different parts of math and physics and hang out. Hope to see you there.